all right welcome back so let's quickly learn some things about css different things we can do about css so uh whichever one i'm able to remember now shout out we're going to cover it at once then after this we move to a project so let's start so inside this is my form okay so let's use that form now this is my form from the HTML, the form we created during html level 2 class so i've also opened uh what is it called a css file now so inside that same folder that i have the form so now i'm going to be importing some images i don't know which of them i will use but let me just import as many as possible Which should I use? Let me use this. It's fine. So this is um where is it? Let me rename it as um white white eye mark white eye mark dot jpeg. Okay, so it's been renamed. So now let's go let's go to our form dot html and put our Yes, let me link our CSS with it. So where is link? Okay, so I'll write style dot CSS. Okay, so this is what we have here. Let me go to the CSS file and open it now. All right so let me first let's first add image to the body now so this is body you only that know how know how we would declare body so let's use body directly so body then um this so let's talk about background color background remember whenever you want to use two two words you join them with um uh, what is what is this iphone so background color colon then uh, oh no background image this background image so after background image i'll uh, we'll be using URL okay so this URL now huh? so when you want to declare any URL uh, on that CSS you make sure you have URL then you open the bracket this quotation marks put us on and close it so this way that it is so let me write white eye mark white eye mark dot jpeg okay that's our background image right so and after this you put semicolon so it's that beautiful so now so don't remember as i've taught you before this background this body body is what you call css selector background image is the property name and then the whatever we want to put there is our value so let me save it and come and check my this let's see what is there wow you see now that we have the background there now so but it has many like the images are repeating itself so how do we make it just one then we're going to name learn that next all right see you in the next class